Good evening and welcome to Central News for Tuesday the 20th of March. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, Hamilton City Council believes they have the best rate plan in the country, according to Mayor Julie Hardacre. One of the good news things about this plan is that the rates increase we've set is 3.8% for every year for the 10-year plan. We're really pleased about that. I think this is something that we've been able to achieve that probably no other council in New Zealand has been able to achieve. Most councils in New Zealand are looking at rates increases of over 5, 6, 7, 8 per cent. Services will also be cut, but Julie says without service cuts, rates increase would be dramatically higher. Well, the figures that we looked at would be that a rates increase would be well over 8 per cent, and that's simply not palatable. One of the challenges for councils is to keep rates affordable while still delivering good services, and you know, it's difficult. The avocado industry is thriving with this year producing 1 million trays more than ever before with the Bay of Plenty alone contributing 60% to the industry. So we're a million trays more than we've ever been, um, that was back in 2007 but last year we only had 3 million trays so a huge increase on last year. Avocados have become increasingly popular and very versatile which is all part of the Add an Avocado campaign. It's so versatile and the Add an Avocado was all about giving consumers new ways or versatility about how they used avocados. With the upcoming Independence Games in Auckland, Waikato is rallying together teams of athletes with physical or mental disabilities to represent our region. Sportsforce Parafed Development Officer Chloe Wickman says it will be an exciting event which, go, which gives young athletes a chance to show their skills. Yeah, well it's a development tournament that happens every year and this year is a national tournament um, because obviously with South Island and Christchurch being in a position not to be able to hold the games, they're uh, bringing teams up from the South Island to participate in the first ever national games. The Alcohol Free Music Event Summerfest will be back in 2013 after a decision by Creative Tauranga to commit to organising another festival. More than 10,000 people attended this year's event on Waitangi Weekend, which featured top New Zealand and local musicians, including Midnight Youth and Stan Walker. Creative Tauranga Chief Executive Tracy Ruddit Gudsell says strong levels of support from the Tauranga community and positive feedback from festival goers made the decision to go ahead with the festival in 2013 an easy one. Time to check out the region's weather. It was a blustery day in both regions today, but the gale force southeastly should die off tomorrow, but it will still have rain on and off. Hamilton, you're heading for a high of 21 and low of 13, while it looks like a high of 23 and low of 19 for Tauranga. Coming up after the break, we hear from Rob Hamill and his journey to bring justice to his brother murdered in Cambodia. And Janine Forlong finds out more of the new rules and regulations for builders. Join me and Janine after the break. 